I'm Gina. Thank you so much for stopping by today. This series of videos I entitled Let's Talk Mental Illness. And I try to do different topics throughout the series. Um, I'd like to start out by saying that I am not a mental health professional. I am a person who is considered a consumer who is diagnosed with mental illness. And if you are watching this and you are also a consumer, then I am considered your peer. And in this way, I can share my life experiences, give some advice, and try to help you throughout life. As I said, this series is called Let's Talk Mental Illness. And today the topic is setting goals. And the first thing I want to say is that to set goals... It is very important, but we also need to um, set realistic goals, short-term and long-term. If we set a goal that is not really attainable, then that just sets us up for disappointment, which can lead to depression and um, poor mental health. So I would like to share with you a few of the goals that I have set throughout my life. Um, first of all, um, when I was first diagnosed, my first goal was to get as healthy as I could. So that meant that I went to my doctors, I saw my therapist, I went through many med changes, but I made sure that I was compliant with all of that to be healthy uh, mentally. Um, it's important to have to do all of those things, to see your doctor, see your therapist, take your medications, learn about your illness, and try to do things that are good for you and to keep you healthy. Um, when um, I had to leave my support group, my uh, I had run it for five years with the Depression and Bipolar Support Alliance. I had um, started the chapter um, here in Middletown in 2004 and I had to stop in 2009 when my husband left me. Um, that's another whole story. But after all of that um, and I was able to get back to work one of my goals that I set was to be able to start another group. That was always in the back of my mind and in my heart was to start another group. But that was a long-term goal and it really wasn't feasible. And I did set myself up for disappointment because I had not been able to do that for many reasons. Um, so it's important to set goals that are reasonable, um, that are feasible. Some short-term goals would be like, um, this week I want to make sure that, um, I contact my family members and I stay in touch with people. That's a good short-term goal and that is something that is good for everyone, but especially those of us with mental illness to make sure it is important that we keep in touch with people, um, especially those that are willing to support us, who love us, and who want what's best for us. So that's a perfect short-term goal, is to make sure that you keep in touch with your family and friends. Um, another short-term goal would be um, to make sure that for the next few days, you get out of bed, you get dressed, you comb your hair, brush your teeth, and try to take care of yourself. That is an excellent short-term goal because, especially with depression, that can become very difficult to do, that you just don't have the motivation to even get out of bed. And I've been there, I've been that way many times, and I still struggle. I, um... I still struggle just like you. 
I am diagnosed with mental illness. I have bipolar disorder, severe depression, PTSD, and some other things. And so I know exactly what you feel, um, the difficulties that you have. So setting those short-term goals, um, even something that seems as simple as just getting out of bed and brushing your teeth and brushing your hair and getting dressed. That is a good short-term goal for, you know, like the next few days. Then after that, you could set another short-term goal of I'm going to go outside and take a walk for like the next two days. That at some point during the day, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to take a walk. Those are good short-term goals that are reasonable and that you can do. Um, it's not reasonable for you to set um, long-term goals like this time next year I'm gonna find a guy I'm gonna start dating and I'm gonna get married you know that's just that's not realistic and you're just gonna set yourself up for disappointment and for poor mental health so goals are very important and you can even um, make a chart and just take a piece of paper and draw a line down the middle of it and on the left side write your short term and on the right side write your long term goals and just go down them and each time you're able to accomplish one just put a check mark by it and then celebrate in some way um, you know make a special meal that you like um, have some ice cream, do something that uh, that you enjoy to reward yourself for accomplishing your goal. That's important because a lot of us, we don't have anybody else that would be able to reward us um, and to give us praise and compliments. A lot of us are on our own, but if we succeed in our goal, we should reward ourselves. And then set another goal. And this may seem, um, you know, not very important, but it is. Um, and like I said, they, they have to be realistic. Because if, if you don't, if you make something that really just can't happen, um, you're just going to set yourself up for disappointment. So, um, like I said, get a piece of paper draw a line down the middle and on one side put your short-term goals on the other side put your long-term goals and then right below those even um, how you plan to accomplish those and that's another good way and then you can check off each um, idea that you have each step that you have to accomplish that goal and it is it is important to reward yourself it may seem selfish or childish, but it's not. We need to have positive affirmations as well. That um, when I do accomplish this, I'm going to feel good about myself. And I'm going to do something to reward myself. So I think today's video is going to be fairly short. Um... I just really don't have much more to say about the subject. Um, just that it is important to set goals. Just you have to be realistic so that you don't set yourself up for failure, which could lead to depression and um, just going backwards in your mental health. So I hope that in some way these videos help you. Please be sure to go back to my channel and look at all of the videos that I have of various subjects. I think this one will be number 22 that I've made. And um, I'm really enjoying this because I want to help people and I hope that I'm helping you. I ran a support group for five years and I was able to see people's faces and to see how the group had helped them and that being with others that are just like them 
it would bring a smile to their face and they'd become more positive and stronger each and every time that they came. But with this, I've been a little discouraged because I can't see your face. I can't know if this is actually helping you. Um, you know, if this is making a difference. I certainly hope that it is. Um, so be sure to check out my actual channel. If you like this video, be sure to push the like button so that if um, you would like to come back to it, you can to watch it again. And if you feel people would uh, benefit from seeing my channel and watching my videos, then please feel free to share with your friends and family or anyone you think that would benefit with this. And then subscribe to my channel and this way whenever I post new videos you will get alerted that I have posted some. And I hope that you would do this. I would also like for you to please leave comments. Um, not many people do. I'd like to know your thoughts. Um, I'd like for you to give me some ideas of what you would like to see me talk about and I will leave my email address also so if you have any questions and you don't want to post it here on the public forum you feel free to write to me with questions just to vent for any reason at all to get in touch with me and right now I'm going to uh, put a couple important numbers um, the suicide prevention hotline it is open 24-7, it's free, and they are professionals. They are very courteous, and this is a great way to reach out if you feel like you could hurt yourself or that you're just in a really bad place mentally. This is a good resource to have. And then if you just need somebody to talk to, um, you know, you're having a bad day, you don't really know how to deal with it, there's a situation in your life that you need some help with. There is a warm line that you can text. And um, they are very encouraging people. They are free also. And they're there 24-7. Um, they are not medical professionals, but they are professionals in a way that they can lead you in directions to help you get support and help that you need. So I'll have that going across the screen as well. And to end this, I hope, uh, it is my hope that you will benefit from these videos. I really feel like I'm meant to do this to try and help people, to let you know that you're not alone, that there are people with mental illness all over this world, people you work with, people in your family, your, your neighbors, people that you're probably not even aware of. But just know that the person that's talking to you right now has mental illness and you're not alone. I've been there and I can help. I've had a lifelong experience of living with this and I have had knowledge from running my support group. So I want to help you as much as I can. That is my desire. That's why I do this is I, I want to help people. So leave me some feedback, leave some comments, and come back to see me. So until then, God bless. You have a fantastic day. And